Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at AngloLink. In today's lesson, we're going to look at two verbs that are easily confused with each other in English. These are make and do. And we'll also look at some expressions and some phrasal verbs with these two verbs. Now, broadly speaking, and of course, there are always some exceptions, make has a sense of creating something. Something you do creates or generates something. And this can be something concrete or abstract. For example, you can make a chair or you can make coffee, but you can also make a mistake. You can make an effort. And if you use the verb make with an adjective, it indicates changing something. For example, making something possible or making something better. Do, on the other hand, has a sense of undertaking a process. For example, you do your shopping or you do your exercises. Now, of course, you know that the verb do is also an auxiliary verb used in the present simple and the past simple tenses. I cover that point in my videos on questions and negatives. In this lesson, we'll just focus on the verb do as a main verb and contrast it with make. By the end of this video, you will have a good grasp of how to use these two verbs correctly and you will learn some phrasal verbs and expressions with them as well. So, when you're ready, we can begin. Make and do. Let's start with the verb to make, which is to create or generate something concrete or abstract, or to create a change. Let's look at some examples with make and generating something concrete. For example, to make tea, make dinner, make a dress, make a table, make cars, make televisions, etc. Let's look at examples of abstract things. To make a mistake. Make an effort. Make a presentation. Make a deal. Make a suggestion. Make a proposal. Make a note. Make a gesture. Make a plan. Make an apology. Make a promise. Make a mess. Make a profit. Make a loss. Make a decision. Make a choice. Make progress. Make way. Make room. Make time. Etc. Let's look at examples for creating a change. For example, make something possible. Make something enjoyable. Make something fun. Make something better. Make something more interesting. Etc. Okay, let's look at some expressions with make. Make fun of someone or make fun of something. Make a fool of oneself. Make a habit of something. Make friends. Make enemies. Make peace with someone. Make a living. That means to earn or make money. Make ends meet. That means to manage to live on what you earn. 
Make do. That's an interesting expression. It means to manage with available resources. Make up your mind means to make a decision. Make the most of something, that is, to get the maximum benefit out of something. Make heads or tails of something means to understand it. Make a mountain out of a molehill, that's to exaggerate. Let's look at some common phrasal verbs with make. The first one I've chosen for you is make up and I've chosen three meanings for this. There are more, but these are the main ones. The first meaning is to fabricate. For example, he makes up excuses in order not to finish his work. The second meaning is to form or to put together. For example, the report is made up of three parts. Or, chemists make up prescriptions. And the third common meaning is to end hostilities. For example, they manage to make up after a huge argument. Let's look at another phrasal verb with make, which is make out. And I've chosen two of the meanings of make out for you. The first one, to be able to see. For example, it was so foggy, I couldn't make out anything on the road. And the second meaning of make out is to claim. He makes out that he's poor. And finally, three other verbs with make. First one, make of, which is to think of. For example, what do you make of this situation? Next one, make up for, is to compensate for. For example, nothing can make up for the damage this has done. And the last phrasal verb with make, make off, leave quickly. He made off as soon as he saw his boss. Okay, let's move on to the verb to do, which is to undertake a process. Let's look at some common examples with do. To do work. To do homework. Do housework. Do a job. Do a dance. Do business. Do exercises. Do military service. Do studies. Do an examination. Do a test. Do an experiment. Do research. Do a survey. Do a study. Do an analysis. Do the shopping. Do the accounts. Do the washing up. Do the laundry. Do the garden. Do your hair. Do your makeup. Etc. Let's look at some expressions with do. Do someone a favor. Do a good deed. Do your best. Do your utmost. Do harm or do damage. Do the right or the wrong or the best or the worst thing. Do the necessary. That's to do what's needed. Do all in your power. That's to do what you can. Do sums. That's to calculate. 
and do someone good. That's to be good for them. Let's look at the phrasal verbs. There aren't many with do, but I've chosen a few for you. For example, do up. That has two main meanings. One is to renovate. For example, we're doing up our house. And the second meaning is to fasten. It's very cold. Do up your jacket. And I've chosen two other verbs, phrasal verbs with do for you. One is do without, that's manage without. For example, I can do without sleep for one night, but not two. And finally, do away with, which is to get rid of. For example, they did away with this law a long time ago. Okay then, to finish off, let's do a quick exercise. Choose between make or do to complete the following sentences. Number one. It was a pleasure business with you. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Number two. You can a bigger effort. You can make a bigger effort. Number three. We have a profit this year. We've made a profit this year. Number four. She can't up her mind what to wear. She can't make up her mind what to wear. Number five. He usually the shopping on Saturdays. He usually does the shopping on Saturdays. Number six. This is absolutely necessary. We can't without it. We can't do without it. Number seven. What does that sign say? I can't it out. I can't make it out. Number eight. Here's a habit of going to bed late. He is making a habit of going to bed late. Number nine. You need some rest. It will you good. It will do you good. Number ten. They've extensive research on this. They've done extensive research on this. Right, that's all for this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments section below if you found it useful and what other topics you would like us to cover for you. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, for more help with your English. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.